Uh, Ryan Payne with us this morning. Stu. Explain this. A rally, big rally, and yet there's a war on. Yeah, I mean, I think, well, first off, the uncertainty is great right now. We've seen a lot of vol volatility in the markets. Last week, markets were down again. Um, so we've definitely seen some selling here. Markets at official 10% correction this year, which, by the way, that's actually pretty normal. You typically have a 10% correction in any given year in the stock market. So this is just a bounce back after a correction move? Well, I think that's it. Well, it could be. The question is, are we off to the races here or are we going to fall off a cliff here with the markets? And I would argue what you're seeing today is earnings have been pretty good. And what I've been saying all along here is if you look at earnings in general, they're going to start to accelerate through next quarter, next year, and the following year. In fact, you're going to see like 26% earnings growth through 2024 and 2025. That's very, very positive for stocks over the long term. But also, historically, when the shooting starts, people buy stocks. I don't know why that is, but historically, that is accurate. Well, typically, it is, it, it, sadly, that is the best time to buy because when you have uncertainty in the world, markets are down, that's typically the best time to buy. And right now, I would argue it's probably one of your better buying opportunities. You know, I've been optimistic all year. That doesn't really change right now, even with all the turmoil going on in the Middle East and elsewhere in the world. Your clients are fully in stock, not fully in stocks, but heavily weighted towards stocks, right? Well, stocks and bonds, and I've said this to you before. I know it's provocative. I always forget these things, but yeah. what's your breakdown? Okay, well, ca well, first off, cash is trash. I've said this to you a couple of times. I know it sounds great to give that 5%. It sounds so safe and so smart, but the problem is the Fed most likely is going to lower interest rates next year. That means that 5% can go to 4%, 3% overnight. Meanwhile, you have a 16-year high in the bond market, great time to lock into longer-term bonds. In fact, if you're in a high tax bracket right now, tax freeze, the equivalent is like getting 6% on your money tax-free. It's phenomenal. And on the market side, again, we've got valuations are relatively cheap. Once you get out of that mega cap seven, earnings are going up. Employment, strong. We're going to see a strong labor market. Again, this, the numbers this, month, this week. And inflation's coming down. It's time to buy, Stuart. Bond stocks. Get okay. your portfolio and fully invested. Okay, you make a good argument, and we're very pleased to entertain it. Thank you very much, Ryan Payne. <laughs>